Hi everyone, I am in Bled City, country Slovenia, and this is my country number 53. In this video I will show you medieval castle, so let's explore. Castle is on the top of this hill, so I'm going to walk up there. That's going to take me about 10 minutes walk. This cliff in front of me is about 100 meters high. Right, uh, I'm in Bled, city called Bled, so I'm walking to this castle. Uh, it's about 10 minutes walk. While walking to the castle, just below the castle, this is the practice for the presentation of the Middle Ages of Bled Castle. I think some sort of festival to show life of the Middle Ages of Bled Castle. Here they are showing market below the castle which is alive with sounds, smells and activity. It shows craftsmen demonstration their skill and traditional food and drinks. It is also showing medieval dance. This is 11th century castle. Here is some information about this castle. It is a medieval castle built on above the city of Bled in Slovenia overlooking Lake Bled. According to written sources it is the oldest Slovenian castle and is currently one of the most visited tourist attraction in Slovenia. Nowadays the castle is employed as a historical museum with a collection that represents the lake history. I checked Wikipedia and it says the castle was first mentioned in uh, 22nd of May 1011. Down there is a lake bled. It's a bled city. I would highly recommend you to walk up to this cliff which is only 10 minutes walk from the city and have beautiful view of the city and lake bled. That's how they make baskets back in the days. Courtyard of the castle exhibits artifacts. There is also 12 meter deep well was carved in rock. Some information about history of the castle. As I have mentioned before that the castle was first mentioned in a 22nd of May 1011. Deed of donation issued by Emperor Henry II in favour of the bishops of Brixen and it was their residence for eight centuries. Then located in the March of Carniola, it was passed to the Austrian House of Hesburgh in 1278. This is uh, Lake, uh, Lake Bled and it's 29.5 meters deep. You can see there's a small island with a church.
tomorrow I'm gonna try to walk around the lake because I've been told by my hostel it's about six kilometers walk all around the lake I have been told by hostel that you can swim in the lake it's allowed to swim I think that's a souvenir shop Here is some information about structure of the castle. The oldest part of the castle is the Romanesque Tower. Printing. In the Middle Ages, more towers were built and the fortifications were improved. There is a chapel in the upper courtyard which was built in the 16th century and renovated around 1700 when it was also painted with the Illuminist frescoes. In the past grapevine thrived in this area and since 2011 the descendant of the oldest grapevine in the world grows here. I think that's a restaurant in the castle. As I mentioned before, the first castle was built by the bishops around 1011 for the defensive purposes. The bishops of Brixen never lived in the castle. This is the end of my visit to this beautiful Slovenian castle. From here I'm going to walk down to the city and it should take me 10 minutes.